Almost half a million bus rides are taken in Chicago every day. Perhaps some of you are getting ready to board one right now. Well, on your next commute, consider how easy it is to locate your bus stop. That's not the case for everyone. Morning Insider Lauren Victory explains the significance of this simple sign that could pop up at your stop soon. In our fast-paced city. Good boy. Greg Pullman and Colleen Wonderlick use guide dogs to navigate the hustle and bustle to get to their jobs at the Chicago Lighthouse. I take the bus to and from work. A commute that people with sight might take for granted. Consider the different poles that could be at a stop. Bus pole, parking pole, light pole. When the bus pulls up and I'm not in the proper place, then the bus drives away and I miss my opportunity to get where I'm going. Has that ever happened to you? Yes. These new bus stop labels in Braille could be the solution. The tiny signs may seem simple. I think there are about 20, 25 of us. But Pullman says the Chicago Transit Authority tapped him and others from the visually impaired community for help, and a lot of thought went into the design. Textures, contrast, quality of Braille, quality of the embossed lettering on on the signs. Another carefully chosen detail, the color. Blue seemed to be a winner for people with vision loss, but not total blindness. Why did it take until 2022 to install signs like this? Yeah, so um, the ADA is pretty recent still. That's CTA's ADA compliance manager, Irma Gomez. The ADA, or Americans with Disabilities Act, passed in 1990. A lot of organizations are barely catching up. But she says CTA has been putting in the work. That includes a multi-year, multi-part ADA upgrade to its train system and listening to bus riders who requested the tactile signs. The fact that CTA um, has made a commitment to uh, becoming more accessible. Um, I think it's re really empowering. Empowering and helpful, so people like Wonderlick don't miss any more buses standing in the wrong spot. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Chicago is home to more than 10,000 bus stops, but only about 1,300 tactile signs will be installed as part of the pilot program. We're told that's in case commuters suggest any changes like a height adjustment. CTA explains it's a little easier to tweak a smaller number of signs.